Yeah, nearly every agency I spoke with today trusts the importance of staying hydrated, especially when you're out working in the field. For some people, that means uh, riding on hot black asphalt on the roadways. And for others, firefighters in particular, they have to go in people's homes. And there inside those homes, the temperatures are just shoring, uh, soaring as that fire is taking place. We practice and train for this all year round. This hot, humid weather can be an added danger for our first responders. Firefighter Connor Nesbitt helped show us how quickly the temperature can rise when he's wearing his gear and responding to a call. We asked him to stand outside, just like he would while fighting a fire. We first used a thermal imaging camera to get a read on his temperature before putting everything on. Right now, he is a about 90 degrees. Then he suited up. He put on pounds worth of protective gear and equipment that he would ordinarily wear. For five minutes, he continued to stand out in the sun. The temperature began building between his gear and his skin. About 106, 107 at times. Nesbitt graduated from the academy seven months ago and says all of that training he went through helps him with this extreme heat. No other way in my mind where they could have prepared us any better than they did. There have been, unfortunately, close calls for some first responders. Last year, a North Carolina state trooper was rushed to the hospital and treated for heat stroke. He had been patrolling on a motorcycle. Highway Patrol says there is a heightened awareness this summer and precautions are being taken whenever troopers are on scene of an incident for a prolonged period have coolers, have drinks they need, uh, that we have members that, that cycle in and out on these posts where they're uh, out of their vehicles. All right, so because of this extreme heat, Wake County is going to be opening up cooling stations. They will open on Saturday and will remain open through Monday. We have a list up right now on abc11.com of all the locations uh, someone can go to over this weekend when we do have that really, really hot, humid weather on tap. We're live in Raleigh, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.